uh, to GOP fundraiser, Noel Nickport. Noel, um, I, I, you know, you can easily take this thing out of context and, and say, all right, it, it, it's going to be a crucial sort of a de decider here. Uh, but is it? In other words, let's say uh, he doesn't hang on to that seat and loses it to Moore. Is the fear going to be that Moore would lose? I, I just see the Republican winning there, but maybe I'm missing something. What do you think? Well, I, you know, I think the Republican is going to to win there as well because you know, look at look at the state of Alabama. But it's a very odd predicament, especially when you have more that's kind of he kind of appears like the rogue candidate, kind of right. the anti-establishment candidate, and yet you have Trump, who's notorious for bucking the establishment, who is seen you know, going forth and, and giving it his all for, you know, someone that Mitch McConnell is backing. Why did he it's, do that when, very... when people like Sarah Palin are not and while they're going for more and Gork, of course, is all aid going for more? What? Why is he <laughs> with this guy? Gosh, Neil, if I knew the inner workings of Donald Trump's mind, I, I would nah. be hosting a huge show. I, it, who knows? Who knows why he is going towards Strange and he's not going towards more because you've got his all-time sidekicks, you know, Steve Bannon, Sarah Palin, who helped him a lot. I don't know. But as far as looking at branding, I think that, you know, I, I'm not real sure that Sarah Palin's brand, I know Steve Bannon's brand is not going to be moving any needles. You know, I'm in fundraising. I do not try to seek Steve Bannon to stump for me for a candidate. So, you know, I, I don't really know if they really can move the needle. The only thing that's going to show if uh, if Moore wins it, if he pulls it out, that maybe Trump was matched with the wrong candidate. Oh, well, <laughs> Because see, Trump really, Trump is very uh, anti-establishment, and it, this is kind of an odd predicament to be in when we know that, you know, Alabama is going to be Republican. So the fact that he's taking such a vocal deal in this, yeah, putting that, that's kind of what surprised me because it seems like such a safe Republican vote. But again, I, I, I could be wrong on this. But I, I do want to yeah. step back a little bit on this health care debate. Republicans seem to be in a sticky way here. The, the latest indication that Susan Collins might not vote for this uh, umpteenth you know, rework where Republicans are cooking up. Um, so that puts you down to 50 votes. Right now. They can't, uh, with, with Rand Paul likely against it. You can't lose one more uh, Republican senator. Uh, so what happens no. if they do? No, I mean, th th this whole thing is horrible. And it plays into uh, Republican Senate races because, you know, one of the things, and I think I've t said this on your show, is the fact that we raise money. Republican fundraisers raise money saying that we can pass great bills and we can do good things if we have a House and a Senate that is Republican. So it kind of goes with a strategy. So what? I mean, look, we've got a, a, a dominance in the Senate, and we still but may not be able fail to this. do this But thing. let's say they fail at this, but they do, you know, give the details of the tax cut next week, and it, 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 it does, that one does pass. Um, does that offset whatever failures you potentially could have on the health care front? It does for me, and it does for me with a lot of my donors, because mm. a lot of my donors are in the, the financial industry. And I will tell you this, our platform is built. Our platform, the Republican platform, Neil, is built on low taxes, less regulations. We don't see anything done on tax reform. I think our platform, I think the Republican Party's in trouble. We don't have on our on our platform, you know, health health care. While it's very important, and I feel very passionately about it, the, the main thing that's on our platform listed is low taxes. So if yeah, we can't right. even get that together, that is really bad for the Republican brand and attracting people and getting candidates, you know, past the shoot to win against Democratic elections.